Hi and welcome back. Today I'm looking at an app called Present Pal. Now if you struggle with lectures or you haven't even done lectures yet but you feel you might struggle with oral communication. I mean what makes oral communication uncomfortable for the speaker? It could be a number of reasons. It could be nerves, dealing with information or maybe it's your timing. There's so many different issues that could arise. Strong oral communication skills can increase your career opportunities. But you don't have to be a JFK or, say, a Martin Luther King or even a Winston Churchill. You can still present efficient, good PowerPoint as long as you break down the information and present them in a nice, clean, efficient process. So with this option, Present Pal, then you can connect to your PowerPoint on your Mac or PC and then control those slides, but control it with all the information for the slides broken down into smaller chunks on your Present Pal app. It makes life a lot easier for you and takes away all the stress. So let's have a look at it first. So let's open up Present Pal. If you've got an Apple, then go to your App Store and download. If you've got an Android, then go to Google Play. Once you've downloaded it, you're presented with this first page. You'll be presented to add your information in, for example, your license key and your email. First place, I would go top right and select settings. And just if you need to change visual settings, for example, font size, you might want to enlarge or make it a little bit smaller. Maybe you want a different overlay color. You can choose that there. Top left, come back out of there. Maybe you want to use accessible scroll. So if I select it, see at the bottom, it's appeared. So that will enable you to scroll down by tapping it rather than putting your finger on it, going up and down. Again, you've got your stopwatch as well for your flashcards. I'll say all that later. And even audio cues. So it will actually read out for you. So I mean, you can always put your headphones in, couldn't you, and listen to that as well while you're rehearsing or within a lecture. Dark mode as well, so you can invert the colours as well. So come back out of there. The next place I'd go to would be rehearse. Once you create the PowerPoint presentation, you might want to rehearse it. You can check bead of your presentation, maybe the content, and it will give you a rating so you can go over and just improve that. So I'm come back out of there. But at the bottom, we've got nothing as you can see. So I'm going to select plus, and we're going to start a new PowerPoint presentation. So I'm just going to call this health just for example and now I've got my title select done so if I now add a flashcard I can start talking about health and I might want to start talking about first thing could be cholesterol so I put cholesterol in there start talking about cholesterol now I can add a bullet point tap on it so I'm going to be talking about cholesterol and I could talk about good and bad cholesterol add another bullet point levels of cholesterol as well now on the right here you can see these little options now if I tap on it on my bullet point it gives me an option where I can add what's called a safety net so additional information so when you're presenting a PowerPoint for your app to your Mac or PC and you're showing your lecture slides and your presentation you've got backups for extra text you put in there information regarding that slide or even you can add an image so I'm just going to add some text there good or bad I can't remember the the name of it it's H something so I'm just gonna put high HDML or something like that would do tick that so I've got good and bad and then I could go down to levels of cholesterol again on the right I could add an image here on the right or select add text I know there's a vaccine that I've heard that halves cholesterol bad cholesterol of course I don't know if it's actually been used yet and select tick. So I've added just additional safety nets. If I click the little arrow here for that information. So when you create your presentation, we can come back to that. So that's good. I'm going to come back out there. It's cholesterol done. But now I'm happy with that. Number one, I'm going to click plus to do my second slide. And I'm going to call this, say you've got a graft. Showing you statistics of cholesterol, for example. And then underneath, again, I can add bullet points for that slide. So I might put statistics add another bullet point you might be using SPSS and click done remember on the right again you can add your safety net so I'm gonna add some text there so saturated fat causes bad that will do scroll up so there we go I've got my safety net for that as well now come back out of there so all we've got at the moment is two slides 
as you can see. We can move those slides up and down to different positions where you want them. Because remember, when you connect this to your slides on your PowerPoint, on your Mac or PC, so you can sync them by using your app, change your slides, and have all the information ready. So I'm happy with it. I'm going to come out of there. My next option, if you want, you can select Rehearse. Because you want to actually rehearse for your presentation. I've only got one there, Dex, which is my health presentation. Click on it. And I'm now ready to do time at the top there and select rehearse. Now, I could rehearse with my slides on my Mac or PC, but I'm not. I just want to see on the device first, see how it comes up, select it. And there's my slide one there, cholesterol, good or bad. Select top left, I've got my graph slides. I've got different slides there, so you can click through them easily. But remember, if you actually present in a slide, you can see the timer working now. I could select good and bad. And you could be talking about that part of the slide. And on the left, I've got my safety net. Then that will just trigger, oh, I need to talk about the good and bad cholesterol, HTML. Close that. And again, you can go up to levels of cholesterol. Again, you've got your safety net if you need it. Vaccine, halves, cholesterol, and so on. And then we go slide two. So if I click the bottom, it brings us to... You see it opens up slide two so I can see it all in front of me and I can start working through that. So SPSS, go to the bottom, click the little note on the left, which is my safety net, saturated fat causes bad cholesterol. So it depends on what you want to add there. You can add images if you want or little notes to help you. So I'm going to select stop and rehearsal and select end. I can play it back, bottom left, have a listen. Select it. And there's my Drag through at the bottom there. And and you can see it changes the slides at the bottom there as well as I go through. But I'm going to select needs work. So I know everything needs work. But I'm just going to put for now timing. And select next. So I'm telling myself to come back on that and work on the timing. Then graft needs work. And I could put timing as well. And click next. Click next again. And now you can see those two slides. And I put timing on there that I need to work on with timing when I'm presenting those slides. Also, you can rate it top right and select proceed. And then you can rate how you feel the timing was. I'll just say pop for that and select next. Memory, OK. It wasn't. I can remember the name for good and bad cholesterol, could I? And there you go. You're done. I've scrolled down. You can then see past rehearsals as well there. Close that for me. So there we go. The app's ready to go. So we're ready to connect it to your PC. So what I'm now going to do is open up PowerPoint. First thing I want to do, you can see the slides I've got open already here. I need you to go to insert. I need to come along and select for me. Get adding. And just type percent power in there for me. And then you can get the plugin. And there we go. Select it on the right add. And continue. Click got it. Now at the top here I'm going to select percent power to open it. It's going to connect automatically because I've added my login details, but they have to be the same, obviously, with the one on your Percent Power app. There you go. So the only one I've created presentation is Health Bear. It's actually showing that for me on my PowerPoint. And you can see here, I can rename that deck or presentation, or I can trash it, or even add new presentations. Just to let you know, it uploads it into a server for you automatically. So any changes done will be put there. Before you start, Select present and it will tell you how to connect your phone app to your PowerPoint on your Mac or PC. So that way you can show your presentation and control it with your phone app. Now just one other thing, sometimes it won't connect, it will come up here, can't connect to the internet. We've got a couple of options here and I'm just going to come out of here. I want to show you this quick, I'm going to minimise that. Come to bottom left hand corner and type in there for me internet options just see if you have any issues once it opens go to security just make sure internet trusted sites and restricted sites have this enable protected mode on here because that can cause an issue sometimes and select apply don't worry about local intranet just trusted restricted and internet and click ok and any other issues with the plugin and percent power is not connecting the add-in go to file Go to Options and then select your Add-ins option here just to check your Add-ins working properly and click OK. Now I'm ready to go. Now I can start presenting from my Present Power app 
and control the slides. So remember, I said come up here. First thing you need to do in the PowerPoint is select the option slideshow, and then you've got to click start, and then it will change. Now, when I do this, it goes into full mode, so you won't be able to see the phone app and this. But you'll kind of get the idea when you're doing this yourself. So what I want to do on your phone app, on percent power, select the presentation. So select your first decks, mine's health. And then you'll see in the next window, if I scroll down, I'm looking at my app as well. Select with slideshow. So select present and then select with slideshow. And it won't connect, you'll notice when you do this, unless you now select from beginning. So I'm going to select from beginning so we can see the slides, but you won't see the app. So I'm going to select from beginning. And there we go. It's now connected. And on your app, you should come up an option that says PowerPoint on PC or Mac. Tap on that. And then I can start controlling it. So what I'm going to do is, because you can't see this, I'm going to select good and bad. So I'm on slide one on my app. I'm going to click top left hand corner to slide two to graph. And you can see it change on here. So I'm going to come back out, out of there. And I'm going to minimize that. So you can see how I can control it with my phone app and the actual slides from your PowerPoint. So I can select SPSS. And as I go through this, go to slide one, cholesterol again. On the left, the PowerPoint will actually change when you're in full presentation mode to slide one. And then you've got all your backup notes that I showed you earlier, all your safety nets to present a good, clean PowerPoint. Quick, fast tutorial on using Present Pal. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.